Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's for Lychee Friday. Finally, it's been a little bit. You guys, this summer is already like just like cruising along, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I'm like, it's already the middle of July, but I guess that's how it goes, right? So we're having a good summer. Hopefully everybody is. Hello, Jamie. I think you said you were on vacation recently, so that's awesome, right? Love vacation time. Love to get away and relax and spend time with family and friends and yeah, just uh, veg out a little bit, hopefully, so and have some fun. So yeah, we have an awesome Facebook Live today. So I have, we are uh, playing with a new stamp set. This is one that caught my eye because it's kind of hilarious. So it's called <clears throat> the Lighthearted Lines Stamp Set. And I'm gonna kind of read through the different sentiments that are on here. And I have to turn them around because I can't read them backwards very well. So went to Norris Lake. I haven't heard of that. I'll have to look that up. I'm sure it was fabulous though. Anytime on the water in the summer is amazing, right? So yeah, I'm sure you guys had a great time. So, okay, so this stamp set, Lighthearted Lines, super funny. Hey, Kay down in Florida, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Um, okay, so we've got, so like I said, these are kind of funny, lighthearted lines, right? That's why it's called, or you'll understand in a moment. So to a person who's still got it, but might not remember where they put it, happy birthday. Um, when nothing goes right, go left. Um, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hangry. <laughs> we all do that sometimes, right? Thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. I think that one's super cute. Don't grow up. It's a trap. Um, everything is figure outable. That was the first one that caught my eye. I love that. Everything is figure outable. Um, and actually this one, it says plot twist with an exclamation point. And I think you would put that with the, when nothing goes right, go left. Hey Debbie down in Southwest Michigan. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, and then let's see, let's, the last one says, I hate to break it to you, but you're stuck with me friends forever. So you can see they've got <clears throat> super cute, fun sentiments and some fun fonts. And like I said, my favorite, everything is figure outable backwards, right? But you guys get the idea. So we're going to be playing with this stamp set in just a little bit. I've got some fun projects to share with you guys um, featuring this stamp set, but of course, lots of other great things. In the meantime, Susan, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Good morning to you too. Um, okay, let's see. What do we want to talk about first? Um, oh, because <clears throat> I forgot to mention, I think last Facebook Live, the designer series paper. Oh, did I say, did I say uh, North, did I say Florida, Kay? Maybe I did, I don't know. So Kay, I did see that you're in North Carolina. Oops, I don't know. Did I say it wrong? Sorry if I did, but yeah, I know you're in North Carolina. So I love the Carolinas too. Um, yeah, it's one of those like places that I'd love to get to and explore more of um, someday, right? Someday. Um, okay, so yeah, designer series paper sale. Basically, um, they listed, and I think it was pretty much, I don't, maybe not all, and I meant to print the flyer and I forgot to, so, um, but anyway, so most, most if not all of the designer series paper in the annual catalog is on sale right now, the whole month. It actually goes, I think, until August 2nd. So you've still got a couple of weeks um, to get that designer series paper on sale, and there's so much beautiful, fabulous paper in there, so make sure you check that out um, and take advantage of that designer series paper sale. We are gonna use um, some designer series paper, some fun, and, um, I can't remember the exact name of it now that I'm thinking about it, like symmetry. So it's uh, we're using the in symmetry stamp set also, and then maybe symmetrical something or other designer series paper, but it's super fun, bright, bold um, patterns on that paper. So check it out, take advantage of the sale. You know, always make sure you use the host code that I give you. It's always in the details to this Facebook Live video, and I'll give it to you in just a little bit too um, <clears throat> when we flip the camera down and start doing our projects. But make sure you use that host code so you can get all the fun Facebook Live freebies as well, right? So, and then also, you guys, this is so crazy. I'm still like kind of trying to wrap my head around the whole, we have another sale abrasion. Have you guys, we've never ever done this before. Hey Mike, how are you? Um, so yeah, this is the first time that we've ever done another um, celebration. So it's happening in August and September of this year. So I can't show you the um, inside of the catalog yet, not until it goes live on August 3rd, but I can show you the outside of the catalog. And I'm gonna show you, hey Sharon, thanks for hanging out with me. I can show you some of the items that I've gotten. So basically we're doing it, like I said, we're doing it again. This is, I'm still like, this is just so crazy and I'm having so much fun because we've got some great new things to play with. So for example, we've got a couple of different packs of designer series paper. We have this, I'm going to show you right now. 
and it's called the Be Dazzling. It's six by six specialty designer series paper. I don't know if you can see, it is super dazzling, right? Like just beautiful, sparkly, awesome, awesome paper. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up and share with you guys because I haven't even opened this one up yet. But this is something you can get for free with a $50 order again this year in August and September. So it starts on August 3rd and runs through September 30th. And it looks like, okay, that's what I wasn't sure if it was all the same paper, which I kind of love because then you have a bunch of paper that you can use. So it's it's just this really, Jenny and I are out on our, oh, you're at your church garage sale. That's right, that is happening this week. Oh, I hope that's going well, Sharon. Hello, Denise. I think I saw you walking the other day. You were pushing a baby stroller down Superior Street. I, I almost talked and then I was like, oh, that'll probably freak her out. So plus I'm not very good at driving and honking and stuff. <laughs> you know, I get mixed up sometimes. So anyway, but this, okay, so yeah, look at how sparkly, be dazzling. It's super dazzling. And let me, I think it's eight shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, okay. So, and it's, it's that thing. Thick. you know how it, people were always deceived like you think you can peel the backing off it's that super thick card stack Nikki hello thanks for hanging out with us um, but oh I we are gonna have a lot of fun with this paper so again free with a $50 order in August and September basically okay so that's one thing that you can get hello Teresa yay I'm so excited seeing all these fun names pop up thank you guys for hanging out with me I know Facebook live has been a little uh, sporadic like one week yes one week no one week I'm kind of just trying to take advantage of the summer and have as much fun as I can with my kids, especially because Kate's going off to college um, in not very long at all now. What will it be? I mean, it's like seriously like five weeks or something. It's kind of like freaking me out. So trying to have as much fun with them as I can, especially Kate since he'll not be around very much any longer. Uh, yeah, going to the farmer's market that day. <laughs> yeah, you got your workout in, that is for sure. Pushing the baby stroller all the way over there. Yeah, so, okay. One other item I will show you guys is this Textures and Frames stamp set. And I haven't had a chance to play with it, but I think we are gonna have some fun. It kind of reminds me of that work of art stamp set where you could make like so many fun like the flag you could make like the american flag with some of these smudgy images um i can see just having some fun with the circle and the rectangle um so yeah we're gonna have lots of fun with that stamp so that's another item you can get for free with a 50 dollars order and i've only gotten a few of them because i haven't i'm trying not to go crazy um so i'm just going to kind of share with you as i get them um over the next little bit and then we'll be playing with them of course in august and september lots and lots and lots so this other one though, okay, this one is called the Peaceful Prince. It's a 12 by 12 designer series paper and it's holiday paper, you guys. They are, they gave us a bunch of new, and you can see I've already been playing with this. We're actually, so kind of um, spoiler alert, next Tuesday is our Inkspired Stampers group meeting and we are gonna be making some cards with this, again, I've already forgotten the name, the Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper. So that's why it's all cut up because Lily's been helping me put the make and takes together for our meeting for next week. Um, but let's see if I have, because I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna pull out the full 12 by 12 pieces and hopefully I have one, of, I think I have one of each of them. Okay, so this is actually one of my favorites. Front and back right there. This is kind of cool. It's like a white birch tree and then some fun print on the back there too. And I think we're gonna say garden green is the color here. And that one is the same. We've got more garden green with some what, snowflake print. And then I don't even know what to call that. Um, and then one more, I think this is the last one. Yeah, this is kind of a, maybe, uh, might be Sahara, Sahara Sand, I'm thinking. Yeah, the coordinating colors are, oh my gosh, can I read this? Let me get into the light here. Basic black, cherry cobbler, garden green, real red, and Sahara Sand. Yeah, so those, that is one set of paper. So I'll kind of fan that out because I love, I had so much fun playing with that paper, right? So beautiful, just some really kind of traditional colors, but I love the prints. Like I said, that's my favorite one. I'm gonna to have to order them. how many packs of paper just because I love that red snowflake paper. And did I not even show you? Is, did I use all of it? Oh, apparently I did. My other favorite one, and I only have two little strips left. You can't even like see it because I use so much of it, but it um, it's reindeer paper. There's, can you kind of see a reindeer on there? <laughs> Barely, right? And then the back side is, is this houndstooth, I think? red and black houndstooth. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. 
Um, so you can kind of get an idea, right? These two little, <laughs> I have these two little strips left and that's it. Yeah, so that was the sixth one. I knew I was missing one. So anyway, it's this beautiful paper. You guys are gonna love that. Again, celebration paper, free with a $50 order. And I'm gonna show you one more, another super cute one. And this one I actually used on my August demo design dream team PDF tutorial project that I will be sharing with you guys in the coming weeks. Um, this one's super duper cute. It's called the Penguin Playmates 12 by 12 designer series paper. Let me just make sure all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, that is celebration paper, right? The Be Dazzling, uh, yes, Penguin Playmates. Okay, because it coordinates, that's what was throwing me. So this is fun, this Penguin Playmates paper, super duper cute. It coordinates with the Penguin Place bundle, which is a cute um, penguin stamp set and then a penguin punch too. We've never had that before. So, okay, let's see again if I can pull out. You guys are gonna love this paper. Okay, so here's one sheet see all the cute penguins and what are those polar bears <laughs> okay and then there's the back side so that's those two then we have okay penguins that are um what tobogganing <laughs> super cute and then this is kind of a fresh freesia print on the back there i'll tell you the coordinating colors in a sec too some more snowmen and penguins it looks like cute little foxes and then that might be Misty Moonlight, I'm thinking. But like I said, I'll flip the package over in just a second to show you. So you can see they all have fun kind of penguin and animal prints on one side and then stripey there, right? So I was gonna say a little more subtle patterns, but that one's not super subtle. And then there's one more, so super fun. So, so cute. I don't know if you guys can get like the idea of how stinking cute this paper is because it's kind of, um, pale looking i guess like when i here that kind of shows you though right so look at lots and lots of penguin animal prints yeah the penguins are too cute you're right and then here's the back side too so no penguins on one side just lots of beautiful prints um i feel like it's kind of the lighting isn't so good right now so it's drowning it out a little bit and it's actually i think this is definitely one Although I think they did a great job in the celebration brochure too, um, but I think it's even cuter. You know how that happens a lot of times where the paper is even cuter in person than it is um, in the books or online. Okay, so coordinating colors, basic black, balmy blue, calypso coral, fresh freesia, just jade, misty moonlight, and soft seafoam. That was that really kind of pale green, that soft seafoam. So you guys are gonna love, this is another free with a $50 order. Um, thingy celebration item coming up beginning August 3rd again August 3rd through September 30th so if you do not have one of these I mailed some out to people that contacted me and said that they wanted me to mail these out to them I have ordered these along with the um, holiday mini catalog if you do not have a holiday mini catalog or well they're just kind of mailing right now so give it a give it like a week or so and if you don't get one and or you just email me and say hey did you send one to me and if not I will get one sent out to you okay so there's the holiday mini catalog and then there is the celebration brochure so and again this holiday mini catalog also starts on August 3rd too okay so lots of good fun things coming up super excited about all of that and yes Kay it's such cute DSP isn't it so very very excited about all that okay so let's do our first drawing for the soft succulent ribbon okay so the, I'll just give you that little, see, such a pretty little, I was gonna say flimsy, but that's not the right word because it's not flimsy. It's like just really easy to work with. Soft succulent, the open weave ribbon. We are giving this away. If you shared the Facebook Live video or if you're new to me and just signed up for my email list, your name is in this little basket. Uh-oh, that thing's like poking out. Okay, all right, so here we go. Names in the drawing. I'm gonna shake these around and one lucky person will win the soft succulent ribbon. And let's see, who's it gonna go to? <laughs> okay, I got one name in here. Miss Pam Simmons down in North Carolina. I'm sorry if I said that wrong too. So yeah, Pam down in North Carolina, I will be sending you that soft succulent open weave ribbon. So congratulations, Miss Pam. All right, I gotta dump those out right there and get my names in the other drawing, get that ready to go. Um, okay, so do you guys want to know what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live, which actually I should mention, 
So I will be doing a Facebook Live next Friday, which I think is the 23rd, um, because, so this is kind of fun. Um, a couple of my very best friends from like, basically from seventh grade on, um, we're getting together and um, we are finally, so we all turned 50 like last year in 2020, but obviously with COVID, we weren't able to get together the way we had hoped to. So we are gonna go to Saga Tech for the weekend. We've got a girls weekend plan and we were just gonna have um, some sun and fun and shopping and relaxation and um, eating out and cocktails and just like a good fun girls weekend. So I will not be doing Facebook Live next Friday the 23rd, so I'll be back live on the 30th, okay? So with that being said, you've got lots of time to share this Facebook Live video with the um, genial gems being your prize if your name is drawn for sharing the Facebook Live video. So share the Facebook Live video. If you have not signed up for my email list, I always say that is the number one way to know what the heck is going on with me locally, with um, Stampin' Up, with events that I have online, um, to-go kit classes, all that stuff. Sign up for my email list. The link is always above this Facebook Live video too, okay? So we'll be giving away these beautiful, I love these, the genial gems. It's funny, I'm like, I'm trying to think of, why did they call them, I don't know, they just didn't know what else to call them, right? Genial gems. Gems, but they are very, they're very genial, right? So anyway, I think they are pale papaya and mint macaron, but I tend to make them go soft succulent too, because I kind of thought they were both in colors. Um, but I think I was corrected one time and someone said, no, no, that's mint macaron. So anyway, but they're just a really pretty pale green and kind of a pale orange. You could probably put them with Calypso coral too. So lots of options there. Okay, so got those tucked out of the way. Uh, okay, so actually another thing I wanted to share with you guys was Paper Pumpkin. They have decided to start a Paper Pumpkin blog. So this is gonna be a place where they're gonna house um, current kits they'll give you um you know the actual probably link to the video um the pictures of the projects that you can make alternate projects that other stampin up demonstrators come up with and then just lots of other good info um, about paper pumpkin as well this is like the best part because people always want to know what's coming in the next box they they excuse me the next box they give us a sneak peek right on there every single month of what's gonna be in. So for example, right now, we are um, signing up for the August um, paper pumpkin kit. So there's a sneak peek on there that will show you, kind of give you a little preview of what will be in our next August paper pumpkin kit box. So you have between now and August 10th to sign up for the August paper pumpkin kit. So if you go to, the, it's actually, this is kind of fun. It's just called block, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, blog.paperpumpkin.com. That's it, that's the Paper Pumpkin blog, blog.paperpumpkin.com. So check that out if you're curious about the August kit, maybe thinking about signing up. I will include the link to that blog in the details to this YouTube video, or excuse me, Facebook Live video after I post it up to Facebook, right after I upload it there. So watch for that, or just go check it out anytime, blog.paperpumpkin.com. It's pretty easy to remember, right? Paper Pumpkin blog, blog.paperpumpkin.com. Have I said it enough times? <laughs> I hope so, right? So, okay. Um, I think that was all I wanted to say about that. That was the big thing, right? Sneak peek of next month's kits. So don't forget also to be sharing the projects that you guys have made with us right here on this Facebook group. Make sure you use that hashtag super summer giveaway when you post because then you get your name in that super summer giveaway drawing. Two entries for every project that you post when you use that hashtag super summer giveaway. So make sure you're doing that, right? All summer long, you've got between now and August 31st. As many times as you post, you get two entries into that drawing. I have these little tickets. I'm writing people's names on them all month long. So other ways that you can get your name in the Super Summer Giveaway Drawing, you get one ticket for each event you attend that includes the to-go kit. Attending basically means getting the to-go kit class, right? Two for every $50 you spend that's locally at classes and online. Um, two for each time you post a picture of that project to our Facebook group using that hashtag Super Summer Giveaway. Uh, two for each new guest that you bring to a class or an event. Uh, three, if you sign up for a club, which includes Paper Pumpkin that we just talked about, the In Color Club. I'll still take new people in the In Color Club if you're interested. Um, what else? The Class To Go Kit Club, the Card Club, and the Scrapbook Club, right? So lots of ways to get those entries. Three, if you sign up for a club. Five, if you buy the Starter Kit, and there's going to be another, I'll mention that right now, Starter Kit Deal uh, during Celebration 
starting August 3rd, you pick $125 in product, only pay $99 plus sales tax, no shipping, and you get to pick a bundle out of the new mini catalog. I think there are like 10 or 12 different bundles that they list that you can choose from. So some super cute, fun, like fabulous product that you can get for free in addition to $125 in product and only paying $99. So I had to figure out what that total value would be. Uh, usually what I do is I figure out what the most expensive bundle is, add on that tax and shipping, and uh, yeah. Oh, I, this is so cute. Sorry, I'm like, Tracy, thank you. That is awesome. I really appreciate you saying that. I'm glad that you are enjoying the Facebook Live videos. Thank you, thank you, that's very sweet. It makes me feel so good um, to hear that too. So yeah, I, I enjoy being here, but it's always fun to get that feedback from people too. So thank you. So now I got totally distracted, but I think we were basically talking about the starter kit. So get the starter kit starting August 3rd. You pick a bundle, $125 in product, only pay $99 plus sales tax, no shipping, and then you get five entries into the Super Summer Giveaway Drawing. The last way that you can get your name in the drawing is if you host a private party or a class. Uh, we would do that actually um, out at the Peace Lutheran Church where we're holding classes now. You get five entries into the drawing. Basically, get some friends, family together. Let's have a little fun. We'll make some cute projects. Um, get your orders in, you get the host benefits. It's an awesome way to get free stuff as well. So hello, Deb, how are you? You're having therapy right now, huh? Okay, well, hopefully that's going well for you. I hope you are feeling better very soon. Yeah. Um, okay, I think let's talk about our next drawing, okay? So if you put an online order in between, when did I do Facebook Live last? On February, not February, July 2nd, um, and Wednesday, this past Wednesday at midnight, your name is in this little basket right here now to win the, this is the 2020-2022 In Color Designer Series paper. So the fun, I don't know if you can even see, but yeah, so our In Color paper pack, um, that is Magenta Madness and that is Misty Moonlight. We've got the other fabulous colors inside there as well, right? So your name is in the drawing. You also automatically receive, this is with just a minimum $30 order. You get these two projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, the super cute little turtle cards, right? You also get to pick from, if you bumped your order up to over $50, you get to pick from either the free embellishment for, uh, what are we in, July? <laughs> <laughs> the blue adhesive back gems, which I absolutely love these little babies. They're so cute, so fun, so sparkly, so beautiful. And these are another one of those. I always say you can like bend the color. Um, Cause I don't, they might say they're like balmy blue and night of navy and these darker ones really don't seem night of navy to me, but if you put them with night of navy, they'd be beautiful. Um, but you can kind of make them whatever color blue you need them to be. So you can pick from either these blue gems or the August demo design dream team PDF tutorial. And I have, print, I'm sorry, this is July. We're still in July. I guess I'm like rushing myself, which I don't wanna rush the summer. So why would I do that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little flip through here. You guys can kind of see, we've got, um, can you kind of see? Oh yeah, there's my project right there. Um, so color, pictures, step-by-step, -step, exactly how to, there's another fun one, so many cute ones. I can't like, I don't want you guys to see everything, right? Cause then that wouldn't even, like it's, this is just a sneak peek, right? So anyway, yeah. $50 order, you can pick from either of these things as well, okay? So, and we had a number of people that were that did that already in July, so they got to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or those blue adhesive back gems. They are getting those two cute little tutor, tur, turtle, the turtle cards. <laughs> and right now we are gonna draw for the In Color Designer Series paper, last year's In Color DSP. Okay, so shaking these names around in here. And let's see, the winner is Miss Maria Warren. All right, congratulations, Maria. She is the proud new owner of the 2020-2022 In Color Designer Series paper. So Maria, I will get that paper sent out to you along with um, the turtle cards as well. Um, yeah, okay, so here we go. Oops, I threw that a little bit further than I thought I did. So, okay, you guys want to know what we're going to give away on the next Facebook Live, which is actually going to be, it'll be July 30th, right? So not next Friday the 23rd, but the following Friday and the 30th is when, we'll be, when we will be back live. And I've got this, this is such a cute stamp set. This is called the 
right behind you stamp set. And those little girls on the tandem bike. So this is Mackinac Island for me right here, um, riding the tandem bike um, around the island on Mackinac, um, especially with my kids. When they were little, we had so much fun. We got, I think, it, is it called like a tag along? You know, where it kind of um, hooked on the back and my kids had so much fun on the back of that thing riding around the island because, you know, then they don't have to work so hard. This is when they were little, right? Now they have to ride their own darn bike because they're old enough and they can definitely do that. But actually what I really remember was we had, was it the trailer, the bike trailer? And Lily was so little that we popped her in that thing and we rode all the way around the island. I think she slept the whole way, which... <laughs> actually worked out well because sometimes she was a total stinker when she was really little so it was great and super peaceful <laughs> that she just like passed out in the back of the trailer while we rode around the island and Cade was on the little that tag along thing so yeah anyway sorry like I'm off on all these tangents today so yeah I guess I just haven't talked to you guys in a while so I have lots to share so okay I'm going to read you the sentiments and they're all in caps to kind of a fun font here right um, hills are easier when you have a friend. Of course, that is true, especially on your little tandem bike, right? We make a great team. Oh, these are so cute. Always right behind you. Obviously, that's where the stamp set name came from. Thanks for sharing the ride. That's a cute one, too. Better together. And then we've got a hi and a yay and then a little doggy and some cute little flowers. And I would stamp those little flowers all over everything because I love those cute little, like quaint little flower um, images like that. And then there's kind of like a little pavement um, stamp, I guess I would say. So yeah, super cute, right? So put your order in of at least $30. Um, what Steph's saying that she yeah loves to take um, a bike ride around Mackinac Island too. Yeah, you get beautiful pictures for sure. There are so many like perfect picture spots up there. So yeah, okay, so put your $30, that's it, minimum $30 order. Bump it up though, you'll automatically get your name in the drawing. You're gonna get the projects we're gonna demonstrate in just a minute. And when you bump your order up to $50, you pick from either those blue gems or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Okay, I think, I feel like I've done a lot of talking as usual. There's always so much good stuff to tell you guys about. But I think we are ready. We're gonna flip the camera down. I have a couple more things to show you guys. And, oh yes, in the bike bag, yes, you're right, they would. So yeah, she's saying, so in the little basket, you could, yes, that's so cute, you could. You could put your little dog um, and the flowers in that little basket. What a cute idea. Tracy, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Share, 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 please guys, share, especially to your other crafting uh, Facebook groups. I totally appreciate those shares because then we know that we're reaching people that are really interested in hearing more about stamping up and watching some fun stamping projects and just learning about what's going on. So, okay. All right. Woo -wee. Is she going to take a breath or what, huh? <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to, for a sec here, I got to get myself situated a little bit organized here, right? Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, okay, so turn your heads away. We're gonna fly through the air and um, pop the camera down so you guys can see more good stuff. So hold on just a sec while we do that. Okay. Um, why am I, there we go. I'm like blanking out, where's the thing to flip it? Okay. All right, I think we're okay. My little mount was almost like it was moving. So I can't remember whether I've showed you guys my scrapbook pages lately or not. So I am going to show them to you again because this is a great way to kind of remind you about the designer series paper sale too. So this is the Pansy Petals. I absolutely love this designer series paper. So this is one of the pages that we made um, last month in June, that would be at scrapbook class. You can see the fun part about this is the dies, the pansy dies will actually cut out the pansies and the leaves from the designer series paper too. Sorry, my, um, yeah, that's a little bit crooked for me. There, so I gotta, I gotta make the page crooked. And then here's the second page, right? So more of the pansy designer series paper. There's some of that ribbon, that soft succulent ribbon that Pam just won. And then there's the stamp set too, right? But again, DSP on sale this whole month. And then the hand 
penned designer series paper also on sale 15% off there's some of that pale papaya open weave ribbon isn't it just so pretty this is one of those super simple I call it a cheater bow where you basically put a strip tack it around the back put the white cardstock down and then tie a little knot around that strip so super simple and easy way to make a little bow your cheater bow we call that so beautiful, huh? With that hand penned designer series paper. And then here is the second coordinating page as well. Again, more hand pin penned DSP, more soft succulent ribbon. Love that colors and contours stamp set and those dies that cut all those cute little um, scallop rectangles out as well. So yeah, if you're interested in joining us for scrapbook class locally here, we hold that class every month the last Tuesday of the month and I'm totally drawing a blank um, but whatever the last Tuesday is in July we'll be having scrapbook class and actually RSVPs are due this Sunday the 18th I do know that because it's about a 10 day in advance RSVP because the way we sell our 12 by 12 cardstock now I have to make sure I have enough for everybody and I don't keep lots of extra because we basically sell it in those variety packs so anyway if that makes sense but yeah, so if you're interested, come hang out with us and make scrapbook pages on the last Tuesday of this month or any month. Okay, so I want to do a quick reminder about the squared away, all squared away class to go. So we've got these four super cute cards. Yes. Ah. Oh, yeah, more hand pen paper in the celebration. Yes, you're right, Nikki. I don't have that yet, so it hasn't hit me probably. Once I get it, then I'm going to be like, oh, my gosh, you guys have to see this, too. Yeah, there's so much, so many, so many um, packs of paper in the um, celebration brochure, which I absolutely love. So you guys are going to have so much fun playing with those new products, too, and free, right, with a $50 order. So, okay, back to our class to go. So you guys know I always do the four cards. You get to make two of each of them show you the cards real quick, tell you the RSVPs are actually due um, next Friday, the 23rd is the last day to sign up for this class to go. So you can see this is one of the cards, and I can't remember, some of them I put things on the inside, there we go, good things grow like our friendship, and we've got this one, you are so worth celebrating. I don't think there's anything inside that one though. And then we've got happiest of birthdays to you, uh, the best thing about today is you, and then happiest of birthdays to you, one more. Yeah, so we feature also, okay, so you get in option number one, you get the all squared away stamp set, the floral squares dies. I couldn't remember those. These are so cute, right? Layering these, so much fun to play with. You can stamp these and layer these over top or layer these right over designer series paper too, right? Okay, so option number one gets the bundle. They also get a full pack of the 2021, 2023 in color designer series paper. You can see we use that on each of our projects, right? You also get a pack of the Genial Gems and a full bolt of the Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon. You actually get this ribbon for free in option number one, plus you get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put the projects together, okay? Option number one is $86. Option number two is if you already have the bundle, make sure you have this because you have to do your stamping and your die cutting, right? So option number two doesn't include this because you've already got them. You get the gems, you get the ribbon, you get the DSP, you get the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $42. Then, oh, you guys can see my scribble here. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not very pretty, is it? But that's how I roll. I'm like a, yeah, just jot everything down kind of a girl. And that helps me remember things too. So how embarrassing though. I didn't realize I was showing you guys that. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. You're probably more distracted by all the pretty things over here, right? Okay. So option number three is the PDF tutorial that my downline, any of my current Inkspired stampers gets the PDF tutorial for free every single month. Another great reason to get that starter kit through me or anybody in my team as well. Option number three, PDF tutorial, $15, always available even after next Friday, the RSVP deadline. And then option number four is for my team, my current Inkspired stampers. They can get the make and take materials to make these projects. They're going to get their own stamp set and dies through their own demo ID so they can get their discount. I give them everything else they need to make these projects. Uh, that is $12 for the make and takes. Um, again, RSVPs are due by next Friday, the 23rd. Kits will ship out no later than August 4th. And if you need it shipped to you, it's $9 additional for priority mail shipping. Okay, I will include the link to sign up for this class to go if you are interested in the details to this video or just email me and I'm happy to send you that link as well. 
Okay, you guys ready to do some stamping? I am so ready to show you guys some fun new projects. So here is our host code, in case I haven't shared that with you lately, I'll do that real quick. The R6F43XQE is our host code for July, okay? All right, so, and I'll, that's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And okay, I'm trying to make sure this is in because if this is in view, then I know what I'm doing is in view for you guys, right? And it that host code is also always on our Facebook page too. Um, details to this Facebook Live video. Okay, so lighthearted lines. Here we go. So you guys can see that stamp set a little bit better now too, right? So many cute sentiments in there. Everything is figure outable. I love that. And then I think I'm never going to get rid of that stamp set just because of that sentiment. Because I think that's pretty darn true. Even when you think, oh my gosh, there's no way. There's always a way. It just sometimes takes a little time thinking about it. Okay, here's my card. <laughs> okay. To the person who's still got it but might not remember their, where they put it. Happy birthday. And let's see, I can't remember if I, I think I did stamp inside because I used that little in symmetry stamp set, which of course you can see how the flowers and imagery in the in symmetry stamp set coordinate with the, whatever the heck that symmetry designer series paper is called. I will include the exact name and the item code for this designer series paper in the details um, to actually when I upload it, sorry, when I post to our um, my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? And I'm sure somebody's probably gonna be uh, consulting their catalog in a moment and telling us what the name of that paper is because you guys are always so good and helpful when I like blank out on names of things. But anyway, you can see how cute that paper is and how well it coordinates with that in symmetry stamp set. So I kind of branched out, right? I started with, I knew I wanted to use these sentiments and then I moved to, ooh, I love that designer series paper, which then led me to, well, we have to stay stamp inside here and there weren't any cute little images inside here um, in that stamp set so I had to move on to my in symmetry stamp set with that little guy and stamp those right there okay so here we go let's make let's make our cards want to ladies okay so I'm going to show you give you some measurements here we start with this is a piece of flirty flamingo cardstock you can see there's a full sheet our eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. We cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. And this one we actually scored at two and three quarters and eight and one quarter, or at two and three quarters on each end if you wanna, if that's easier to think about, okay? Then we have the Whisper White cardstock on the inside, generally always four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then on the outside, we have two pieces of Knight of Navy cardstock that go right there that measure two and a half by four inches. And then our designer series paper that measures two and one quarter by three and three quarters. So two pieces of each of those to go on either side there, okay? And then I just have some extra basic white and Knight of Navy for my stamping and die cutting that we're gonna do, okay? So let's see, let's do this stamping because then we can do our die cutting and then basically assemble our card, right? Okay, so I have my Knight of Navy ink. Let's scoot that baby up there, right? And that one over there. And we are going to stamp our, this is one of those red rubber cling stamps. You never have to press too hard. You can see I'm just kind of doing a nice easy tap, tap, tap. I'm going to press straight down and lift straight up, and that was totally at a bad angle. So I don't like that at all. I think I'm feeling a little crooked today. <laughs> okay, so here, we're gonna try that again. Let's see. There, that looks like it's a little bit more in the center. There we go. And you guys know this, right? So the beauty of this basic white cardstock is it is thick enough. If you hold it up in the light, then I can definitely see through it. But once I lay it down and put it on cardstock, you really cannot see through this paper. So even though that might kind of um, inch over behind there a little bit, not gonna be a problem. Okay, and I'll show you that once we put it together, but you really can't see through it because it's just, our cardstock is so good. It's so um, thick, especially compared to other Companies cardstock, I believe. Okay, 
So we're gonna put that there and that there, and we are using the rectangle stitched dies. We're using those two right there. Let me pull them out and I'll show you guys. Sorry, I'm flipping everything around. So it's those two, so the largest and second largest, kind of in the more narrow rectangle section. The big one goes on the Knight of Navy and the little bit smaller one goes over here on our basic white cardstock. Okay, that looks good. And I just realized I forgot to stamp the inside, that little whisper white piece with those flowers. So I think I'm gonna do that after I pull these babies off here, because otherwise I might forget. So, love. These have been around for a while. If you don't have these rectangle stitch dies yet, you really, really need them. They are an awesome set of dies. You can see just that little bit of stitching that goes around the edge on both of them. It's a little bit harder to see on that night of navy. Um, but it's there, I promise. Okay, so yeah, like I said, let's do our stamping on this little piece here with our night of navy ink. With our little baby stamp, and again, you don't have to press too hard. People tend to press super hard, and you just don't need to. So, aren't those so cute? Right? Love those little flowers. And you can see how they coordinate, right? Or complement, maybe, that designer series paper. Okay, so let's start adhering these things. Here, we'll do these first. Okay. All right, so we're going to use our stamp and seal to add our adhesive. Are you guys going to be able to see? Somehow I feel like I'm off a little bit here. But I think we're all right. Okay, so that one goes there, that one goes there, and then we can add these babies to our card. So it was Cade's birthday on Wednesday. My son Cade turned 19. You guys, <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is going on? How do I have a 19-year-old son already? It goes, you know, they always say that, right? When you're in the middle of it and like life is super crazy, they're like, just don't blink. It goes by so quick. And when you're in the middle of it and life is so crazy, you're like, oh, that might be all right. But, you know, then once you wake up and your son is 19, you're like, what the heck happened? How did it happen so fast, right? So we were going to go to um, this fun, like, park, Michigan adventure over in Muskegon area. And we <laughs> literally, you guys, we literally were, like, up that morning, getting all around, getting the sunscreen on, packing up. And somebody decided, well, we should probably just check the website. And thank goodness we did, because it turns out they weren't even open on Wednesday when it was his birthday. So, and it's like a two hour drive. So thank goodness we did not get in the car and drive all the way over there two hours to find out that it wasn't even open. So that was kind of a huge bummer. Um, so then, you know, we kind of had to regroup and like, okay, what are we going to do now? So fortunately we have a, um, a jet ski. So we decided to go up to um, Higgins Lake and take the jet ski out. And they had both had friends. Kate and Lily both had friends that were going to come to Michigan Adventure with us. So we took them up there and went jet skiing instead. So it was still fun. The whole day was not for nothing. But oh my gosh, that was just crazy when we found that out. Like, okay, so find a plan B now, people. <laughs> and we did. So it was all good. All right, so that goes on the inside. Sorry, I've been talking this whole time. Did you guys see how I made my double bow? Basically, you just loop it, right? You guys saw that, didn't you, while I was just chit-chatting here? Just loop it like, like it's, you know, one, loop it like it's one, and then make a bow with it. So, yeah, you guys get the idea, right? Okay, so then last step on this one, and I might have missed. Let's see, what is Denise? What are you saying? Um, oh, my goodness. I think it's Denise, isn't it? Oh, I want to look. Yeah, Her, your youngest is 21 and your oldest is 34. Isn't that nuts? How, does, how do they do that to us, Denise? Oh, my gosh. Craziness. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was a very good thing. So I recommend that now, especially after COVID. You know, everybody's like hours and times and everything have changed so much. So it's definitely worth like double checking before <laughs> you drive two hours anywhere to make sure 
but it's open. So, okay, there is card number one, right? So cute to the person who still got it, but not, might not remember where they put it. <laughs> Happy birthday with those cute little um, flower images stamped on the inside too. Okay, so there is card number one. I'm gonna scoop that one out of the way. I'm actually gonna clean these off because I don't wanna get Night of Navy ink anywhere that I don't want it. So we're gonna do that real quick with my chamois. If you guys do not have a chamois yet, it's funny because I thought everybody knew about the chamois and then I was using it the other day at class and somebody was like, oh my gosh, what's that? So you gotta have a chamois. It's the easiest, um, simplest way to clean your stamps. So if you don't have, I'm sure you get one of those very soon. Okay, so hold on one sec. Huh. Yeah, I hear you, Denise. She's saying her granddaughters are growing up too fast now, too. I agree. It just time keeps flying, doesn't it? Okay, so here is our next card. <laughs> so cute. I love this. Thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. <laughs> I'm sure. So my sister and I are really close, and I can find, like, a lot in her. So <laughs> I'm sure I could give this card to her because, actually, She's pretty good about keeping a straight face, but then sometimes she just lets me have it too. So, you know, sisters can do that. Uh, but look at how cute this is, right? And then we added this to the inside too. And I have to share with you because this technically is not really my idea. My um, downline, Charlene Mogg, had designed this card for um, our shoebox swap that we did back in May, it was. And she showed us something called the bubble wrap technique. And you can just kind of see it peeking out from behind here. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how, because this is, it's not a background stamp, it's bubble wrap that we used. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some fun. And then she actually did that on the inside as well, added that fun little scallop contour. Um, die on the inside. So I thought, oh, I want to do that also. So I kind of mimicked what she did, some of the colors and the idea behind it. So let me show you guys how you do the bubble wrap technique. If you haven't seen it lately, I hadn't seen it before. So anyway, you know, sometimes I live under a rock, I guess. Uh, okay, I need a quick sip of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, let's just, I think that's what I want to do is do that first. Let me get everything out here and then I'll decide. What I think, I think, I think. Oh, and actually I want to show you guys because I really wanted to use everything is figure outable. I just loved that sentiment, but I didn't feel like it worked quite as well. Like the font, I didn't think worked as well as that one on there. I thought that was a little bit prettier. So anyway, but I I was I'm gonna use this. Everything is figure outable. It's gonna happen at some point, ladies. For sure. Okay, so let's do, yeah, because I don't want to make a mess. We're going to have to stamp that later, though, because I want to die cut, and then I'll stamp that. So we'll do that stamp later, but let's do this one. Thanks for lending an ear. We are going to stamp. Got to make sure I've got the right sizes. So that's going to go on the inside. This one is the one that we're going to stamp. Yeah, okay. I did these a few days ago, so now I'm like, wait a minute, how do I do this again? Isn't that awful? Like, you know, how many days ago and you can't quite remember what you did? <laughs> okay, well, I know this one. Thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. I know, let's see, we're gonna use, oh, I have like purple ink and then it's a little bit bent there. Okay, so we're gonna go right there and hope that, <laughs> and I keep doing that where I'm stamping upside down. There we go. Thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. Now, I think we're gonna do the die cutting. That's what I was kind of struggling with. Like this piece, we are going to die cut and then we are gonna um, do the bubble wrap technique on it. Okay, so yeah, I, I know what I'm doing now. I've got this. You know what else I'm gonna show you guys though? Our measurements. <laughs> okay, so let's do that real quick right now here. So Highland Heather, we used Highland Heather card base, right? So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Then we used our fresh freesia, that piece right there, okay? This piece measures three and a half by four and three quarters. So that's just gonna fit right on there. And then I have a couple of pieces of basic white cardstock for the inside and the outside, and then also for that piece right there, okay? Okay, so let me grab. This little buddy here, 
We're gonna have to do these separately because they're so big. Okay, so my favorite, the color and, no, these are not the, the scallop contours die. So you can see we used three of the five of those. So we just didn't use those two right there. That's that pretty flower that we're gonna stamp on the inside. We have used this little um, scallop edge with the stitching a million times, right? And then that coordinates with the stamp set too. Actually here is the stamp set. If you do not have this bundle yet, ladies, this is the bundle for you. I have played with this so much with the flowers and then all of those um, scallop rectangles with the stitching and the fun little edging. You're gonna see all of that fun in just a moment. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right on here. Okay. And they all are a little bit different. I think that's what I love about them. And Anna, yeah, you like the purples? Me too. I feel like I've been using them so much lately. Although I have to say, I have not, oh my gosh, that's, uh, I'm trying not to wiggle things. Um, I have not figured out how to photograph that purple color yet. It, it just never comes out quite as pretty um, in person as it is, or, you know, on camera, I guess, as it is in real life. Um, okay, so here we're just gonna like flick these around. I'm trying to get these little bubbles out of here. Because look, at, isn't that so pretty? Just get the little junk off of there too, right? So isn't that awesome? So that's what's gonna go on the inside of the card. So we're gonna stamp that flower right in the corner there, okay? Actually, let's do this. Let me get these little pieces off. I need a big trash can. That's what I don't have. Gosh, I should try to remember that. <laughs> Yeah, Amy, you really should. Okay, so then this one is gonna be the one that we are gonna do the bubble wrap technique on. And I was gonna see, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit. Let's just do, I have to crank three times. Okay, I'm gonna do the sentiment last. Okay, so we've got this one. Okay, this one I think, oh yeah, so it does the stitching around it's like a rectangle and then with the scallops so cute right and then lastly we will do our sentiment with one more of the dies from there so again my most favorite set of dies right now use them all the time i guess just because it's like a nice variety you know they're not all the same so They've been lots and lots of fun to play with. So then this one is actually kind of interesting. It's cut a little bit, so it's kind of right there and right there, but can you see how it kind of lifts up? So it's got another little element to it also. So very, very pretty. Okay, I think we're good. Let's get this guy out of the way. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna stamp this one because I'm just afraid I'm gonna get ink everywhere. Okay, so this one we are gonna use our flower from that color and contour stamp set, okay? This one right here is what's gonna go on the inside there. And we're gonna use Highland Heather ink on the inside. So nice, easy, tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up, everything is good there, okay? So we've got that one and that one. I think we're good. So now we're gonna do our bubble wrap stamping. You guys, I'm so excited to show you how this works. So easy too. Okay, so depending on what size bubble wrap you have, that's obviously gonna determine how big or small your little dots are, right? And they just have all the little detail there. So, okay, this is, just, this is it, so simple. So you basically open up your ink pad and just kinda add a little ink. Just make sure there's enough so that when you lay your um, piece down. And the biggest thing is to like not let it move. So I just kind of, I'm holding it and it's okay if you get ink like on your fingers and on the back here. The, the biggest thing is, I'll show you, I'll see if I do it right or not. Um, don't, just don't let it move, right? And then when you pick it up, yeah, look at that. Isn't that so cool? And then um, you can either just run water over this or grab a wipey and just wipe it off. So I'm just gonna kind of set it aside because I don't wanna get ink everywhere, but isn't that so fun? So all the little texture and detail that you get from the bubble wrap. Obviously, if you had bigger ones, they'd be bigger circles, smaller would be smaller circles, but isn't that so fun? It's just so simple and easy. And like I said, Charlene Mogg was the one that showed us how to do that a couple of, gosh, it's been a couple of months ago now, but I loved it. And I've been like holding out, trying to find like the perfect project to do that with. And I finally found it. 
So, okay, here we go. We can start putting things together. Okay, so with our fresh, oops, freesia piece, and I see the red inside there. I hope I don't run out of car or, uh, adhesive <laughs> before we get to the end. Okay. All right, we've got this one. We're just gonna lay that right down in there. And then we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of this little baby right here, okay? Peeling these little buddies off. Okay, very quiet now. You guys are so like in awe of the bubble wrap technique, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna put a couple more dimensionals behind our sentiment. Thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right there. Looks even, okay. Now on the inside and this, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love this. I think I'm gonna wanna die cut this thing and put it inside like every card we make. It won't be appropriate for every card, but for the ones that it is, isn't that so pretty? Just love all that detail there, right? Okay, so last thing is my ribbon. Where is my ribbon? Did I pull it out? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So this is Highland Heather. What are they calling this? Oh, just a grow grain. Highland Heather grow grain ribbon. Yay, Diana, you like that, huh? It's so easy, right? And you can obviously use any color that you have of ink, right? So we are just going to make a bow. It's like sparkly. This um, ribbon is... It's funny because it feels more than just grow, I guess it is grow grain. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoy that idea. And we thank Charlene Mogg for introducing us to that idea at our meeting a couple months ago. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Uh, and this is kind of hefty ribbon, I will say. So I'm gonna use a couple of glue dots just to make sure it stays down. And there we go. So thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. So cute with that awesome inside as well. So ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. I wanna just do a quick reminder about using that host code to put your order in, right? If you order at least $30 and use this host code, the R6F43XQE, you're gonna get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name is also gonna go in the drawing to win. Here it is, um, front ways, right? The right behind you, such a cute stamp set, right? Bump your order up to $50, and you also get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the blue adhesive backed gems with your order and thank you. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun kind of sharing all of this with you. Don't forget about the designer series paper sale going on right now. Order using that host code and you can get some DSP on sale. Get all these fun freebies from me as well. And we will see you two weeks from today on Friday, July 30th. But don't forget, if you're interested in that all squared away class to go, you've got one more week to sign up for that too. Happy to send the link if you're interested. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.